Hi, this is Ann Forrest. Thank you for tuning in as we talk about a get home bag. So this is what I have in my car. I have one in each car, and then my son has uh, quite a bit of this same, this same supplies in his backpack that he takes back and forth to college. So um, this is what you would need in order to walk home from wherever you are if a big earthquake hit. You can, it would be nice if we can drive, more than likely we will not be able to drive if it's a very strong earthquake. So plan on walking home. Sturdy shoes, always a good option. Um, and then I'll go through some of the stuff that's in my car. So water, I always have water with me. The, the sides of my car, those pockets on the doors are just packed full of water. I probably have at least a gallon it, just in water that's sitting there all the time. So water's super important. Food, not as important, but it's nice to have. Some granola bars, anything that's gonna last for a while. I have my light source, which in my case is a, is a headlamp, and I have batteries. Um, flashlight's just as good, but this is nice because if I'm walking, um, I've got both my hands free if I can put on my headlamp. And then phone numbers, super important. So this is a really good idea. It's just a three by five card with your phone numbers listed on it. Nothing fancy. I didn't laminate this. This is just stuck in a plastic bag. So everybody in my family has these. So not only are all of our phone numbers on there and phone numbers for people around us that we might need to call for, a, for an emergency, um, the other really important phone number is our out-of-town contact person. And for us here in Seattle, your out-of-town contact person should be east of us, so Spokane or further. You don't want somebody in Vancouver, British Columbia. You don't want somebody in San Diego or in Portland, Oregon. You want east of us, Spokane or further. And the reason for that is this is a person you call because sometimes, actually text, um, sometimes it's easier to get a text out of the city than it is across the city. So after a large disaster, my family's plan is we text one another, but we also text my mother-in-law in Las Vegas. She is our out-of-town contact person. We will text her and we will say, it's Ann, it's 4 p.m., I'm at home, I'm okay. So I'm letting her know that I'm okay. I'm giving her a time because that text may not be delivered right away. It may swirl around in cyberspace before it finally gets to my mother-in-law in Las Vegas. And all of my family members will do that. So if my son and I cannot communicate via text through the city, we will contact my mother-in-law and she forwards that same text down to the other members of my family. So we use her just to reach other folks on the ground. So find your out of town contact person, let them know that the only thing they need to do for you is to forward your texts. They don't need to interpret, they don't need to change them, they just need to forward them. And then I also gave my mother-in-law a list of people to um, call and a list of people to email to say, Anne's okay. I've heard from the family, everybody's all right. So she's calling my parents because they're older and they don't do email, and then she's sending out emails to a couple key people just to let them know that we're okay. So that's how you use your out-of-town contact person. So we have her phone number written down um, and then a lot of other important phone numbers. Other things we have in our car, these are just big trash bags, big black garbage bags. Um, and this is a rain poncho, this is something to sleep on, this is something to carry stuff with, so always good to have on you. A whistle, just in case we need to signal, a mask. Um, uh, we have a map, this is a walking map of Seattle. We have a picture of our family, because what if I need to identify my, my family member? Or I just write on the top of here, you know, if you see this person, have them contact me. So pictures of your family, pictures of your pets are really good too. Nothing fancy, you don't need it printed on any special paper. Print it on a regular printer and throw it in a plastic bag and that'll be fine. And then small bills. If I can and I need to buy something on the walk home, um, they're probably not going to have change for a 20. I want to have ones and fives in here if I can buy anything on the way home that, to make that walk home a little more comfortable. So when you put all this together, it takes up very little space. Um, we just have plastic bags that we have all this stuff in and it's tucked in the back of our car. And like I said, my, my son has a lot of this same stuff in the bottom of his backpack. It goes everywhere with him. So please put together the same kind of kit for you and yours. Um, 
A couple other things to think about, maybe a spare set of glasses if you're really dependent on eyeglasses and you're worried they'll get broken during a, a disaster. Um, medications are really important. It may take you more than a day to get home and if there's medication that's really, really crucial to your health, then have some with you. I believe that's it. Thank you for watching. Get home safe.